Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be doing my second garden tour of 2020. I will also be doing a small harvest of some of the vegetables that are ready to be harvested in this early season. So in the first raised bed that I will be showing you today, I have my leeks and my onions right here. And the leeks are getting really big and doing really good. And the onions are doing pretty good too. They aren't doing quite as good as the leeks, but I've never actually grown either of these before. So we'll see how they turn out. Then the next thing here I have one watermelon plant that isn't really doing anything it hasn't grown really at all since i planted it a few months ago and then over here i have one that i planted at the same time as that one and it just kind of died so probably won't have any watermelons this year but i'm going to hopefully try again next year and so here i also have a little zucchini plant that has buds but it's tiny so I don't know what's gonna happen with that but we'll see then I have my three bean plants one back there one here and one here I have never really grown beans before so hopefully I will have success in growing them then I have my two trellises of snap peas and they're starting to do really good. Um, they're getting big and they're starting to put out flowers. So hopefully I will have some snap peas to harvest maybe next month. And then here I have my radishes that are kind of getting eaten. The leaves are getting eaten. So if anybody knows what is eating these leaves, you can leave it down in the comment section below. That would really help me out. And I'll be harvesting some of these radishes at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Here I have my pumpkin plant. Never grown pumpkins before, but um, I'm hoping that they'll do good. I have one little pumpkin right there and i have another one oh wow looks like i actually have two more back there and there and there's still tons of flowers oh hey look i even have a third fourth one wow okay i did not know i had so many little pumpkins but hopefully i'll have lots of success because pumpkins are magical and then over here i have my two zucchini plants which kind of took over everything they got gigantic like the leaves are like three times the size at least three times the size of my hand so it's pretty crazy and in here i have lots and lots of flowers and even some little zucchini starting to grow right in there i got a little one and i've had success with zucchinis in the past and wow there's actually like five zucchinis on this one plant that's crazy these zucchinis are doing really good okay and between the pumpkin plant and the zucchini plants there are carrots way in here they got all covered up but the ones that aren't quite covered up are doing really good i've never had success growing carrots so i'm hoping that i get some good carrots this year so moving on to the eggplants which got huge and have all sorts of flowers so here i have my white eggplant and there are i mean so many flowers on here and 
I don't see, oh, okay, looks like we're gonna, we have one starting right there. If you can kind of look in there, there's a little eggplant starting. That's exciting. I've never grown an eggplant either, so this is kind of my experimental year. And it seems as if they are doing really good. And hopefully I'll get quite a few eggplants. I mean, there's flowers everywhere. And then moving back to my Japanese eggplant, I think it is. Um, I have, again, so many flowers. And it looks like they're starting to have little eggplants. There's a few. Um, so... Yeah, hopefully I will get an eggplant this year. And that's everything in this raised bed here. Okay, so moving from this raised bed over to this one. I just took the greenhouse off of this one. If you saw my other video, this was in a little greenhouse. So here I have um, a bunch of corn growing. And I took the greenhouse off and it all just kind of fell over. And so I kind of just have these pieces of wood just kind of stabbed into the ground, helping hold it all up. And I'm working on finding a better solution for that. And then here I have my radishes, which got super big. I'm excited about these. I'm gonna harvest all these later. Cause I mean, the tops got eaten off by something along with this piece of corn. So I don't know what ate it, but I don't know. And then here we go. We have my lettuce, which is really taking off. I'm gonna harvest a bunch of this later when we get to harvesting. And then here I have another bean plant, which is doing great and starting to bud. So hopefully I will get some corn this year. Never grown corn before. And when I have, it's got, there the, the plants have gotten like six inches tall, so this corn is already doing way good. I think it's like 30 inches tall, at least. And then back here behind the corn, I have three huge zucchini plants that are really starting to flower. And I mean, these plants got huge. I started all these by seed. I pretty much started everything by seed except for the eggplant and the pumpkin. And here, we even have a little zucchini starting. And we're gonna wait till that gets bigger. We got even one right in there starting. We have little zucchinis everywhere. I'm gonna have a lot of zucchini this year. I might have went overboard with the planting, but zucchini's awesome, so it's okay. And back here, I have a bean plant that got kind of overgrown, but it's still doing good. And all these three, the corn, that bed, and these are all on drip line. We're on a timer, so they're super easy to get watered. Okay, then over here I have my potato bed. And I actually already harvested, I think, three or four plants from here. And this one I'm going to harvest later because it's starting to get ready. And I kind of need the space for something else. And here I have my three bags that I'm growing potatoes in. Still haven't gotten around to making a review video of these bags, but I'm gonna get around to that maybe next month. Hopefully, we will see. And these are doing really good, like really, really good. And those will be harvested, not today, maybe in a month or two. And then we have another zucchini plant, which I planted here when it was a little baby and it has some flowers on it and this potato plant decided to come up right next to it so I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that and this onion plant decided to grow there too so it's a little this bundle so I'm gonna have to wait to harvest these potatoes until after this dies so that's gonna take a while but that's okay I'll get to it eventually now let's move over to my last bed and all my pots. Fred, do you want to go inside? Fine, I'll let you inside. So now that I have let our cat inside, let's get to the pots. 
I have a pepper plant. I don't know exactly what kind of pepper this is, but it's starting to flower and there's even a little tiny pepper starting. And there's a lot of flowers and it got pretty big. And I'm pretty happy with how that's going. My tiny spinach, which didn't do much, it kind of all went to seed. I have another little zucchini plant, which isn't doing a whole lot, but it was getting taken over by the other one, so I just moved it. Over here I have another type of plant, which is a little bigger. Also don't know what kind of pepper this is, but there's two baby peppers on it. So, I'm hoping to harvest that within the next month or two. And then here I've got two basil plants, which are getting really big and full. So some of this won't be harvested today, but it'll be harvested, mm, I don't know, eventually. And then over here I've got my tomato plants. And this little tiny plant down here has a tomato on it. And so I'm gonna harvest that one today, later. Here we have another little basil plant. And then some onions and leeks that aren't doing great. Okay, now time to go harvest, starting in the first bag. We have my radishes here, which I'm gonna harvest most, some of them, like that one, a good size. So we got five radishes harvested from this bed. And I think that that's the only thing that we can harvest. So now time to move to where the corn and those other radishes are planted. So in here we have the radishes that all their tops were eaten off. We got this huge radish here. We've got this one. Oof. You got pretty good. Um, we got, ooh, ounce, really, in there. Ooh, this one has a lot of dirt on it. Okay, that one has roots. That's okay, I'll just cut those off. Um, and this one. I didn't plant very many radishes, but I'm hoping to maybe get a second round. Or I have my greenhouse there, which is just sitting in the yard. I'm gonna move that over there once I harvest those potatoes. And hopefully get a second round of radishes and some other stuff in there. So the next thing that we are going to harvest is these greens that took off. So I'm gonna just go grab a pair of scissors and we will start to harvest. Here we are, I got a pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut all of the tops off of these greens and they will turn into a good salad or something probably chopped up with the radishes also there's a lot of stuff eating the leaves of these so if anybody knows what this is and how i can fix it please leave a comment down below and that would help me out a ton so we got all of the lettuce harvested and so there's a few different types in here I don't know what any of this is called, but now it is time to move to the next bed to harvest the potatoes. So I got the pitchfork, and so now I'm going to harvest these potatoes. So I got my potatoes, my radishes, and my greens. Now I need to go harvest my tomato. I have a ripe red tomato, so I'm just gonna pick it and take it to our collection of other things that have been harvested today and see if there's any last things that need to be harvested. harvested everything that I think that I can harvest today. Thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to consider subscribing and checking out my Instagram in the description below.